using a four-step method on the triads of the major scale and I was using swung eighth notes as the rhythm on that and if you like the sound of this and would like to learn how to play it yourself as well as make up your own exercises keep watching and I'll show you how you can do that um, so this is uh, one of about 10 exercises that I regularly practice in my uh, practice uh, routine and this is what I call a concept exercise. And what I mean by that, uh, um, a concept exercise, by uh, simply following uh, some guidelines and some basic rules, you can, product, um, you can practice productively, but you can also pre uh, practice creatively, which I really enjoy. I love to kind of improvise and noodle when I'm practicing. But you can do that, but also be productive when you're doing it. I'd like to point out too that just because uh, you might understand the concept of this exercise uh, doesn't mean you don't have to practice it. Uh, it's kind of like uh, you can understand the uh, concept of exercising, but unless you actually exercise, you're not really going to reap the benefits of it. So I like to think of this at the, uh, the, in the same way. So this uh, concept exercise in a nutshell has four steps, and these four steps are Step one, you take the pattern, the scale, or the chord. Um, and you play it on each step of the key that you're in. And when you get to the top, uh, the only rule is that you come back down in the same order that you went up. So if you started on the root, come back down starting on the root as well. And you do this because otherwise you're going to just end up in a kind of no man's land of endless possibilities and variations and it's really easy to kind of get lost and you know start practicing something different. So again, you come back down in the same order that you went up. For step two, what you're doing is you're basically reversing step one. It doesn't have to be a, an exact true reversal, as I'll show you in our demonstration, but for argument's sake, let's just say that you reverse step one for step two. For step three, you can alternate between step one and step two, meaning you just play step one, followed by step two, then step one, step two, on your way up and on the way back down. And for step four, we're going to take step two, followed by step one, and we're going to alternate between those two as we go up and come back down. Um, I mentioned that we're using the major scale, but you can also use monic minor and the melodic minor as well. But I would strongly suggest to focus your time and, and get the major scale down right now. Now we're going to use the triads of the major scale, but you can also use uh, the modes of the major scale. You can use patterns such as one, two, three, one, two, three, five, or one flat, three, four, or five patterns. You can also use chords and arpeggios, uh, triads, like I said. Uh, you can use seventh and ninth chords. Um, but now, as I said, we're going to use triads, so that gives us three notes. Now, here's some three note rhythms that I've used in the past, and I think uh, uh, I, I would suggest you, you take a look at these as well. But now, for this demo, we're going to square it off and use four notes. So our pattern is going to be one, three, five, a triad, and then we're just going to go back to the one. One, three, five, and we're going to go back to the one. Okay, so here is step one using quarter notes at 160 beats per minute. And I'm going to add uh, two bars in at the beginning of, of before I begin each uh, step. I like to do that just because it kind of gives me, uh, gives you kind of time to think and kind of gives it room to breathe. And it's, to me, it sounds a little more musical instead of just running, running one right after the other. So um, again, I'm just going to add uh, two bars of quarter notes, uh, just stay, playing the root, 
maybe maybe the octaves before moving on to the uh, the exercise. information there. I hope I haven't uh, confused you. Um, if you have any questions on this, uh, by all means, send me a message on, on one, of my, uh, one of my sites there. Um, I'm very approachable and I'm always glad to offer some advice on, on practicing. I'm, I'm very passionate about practicing and, and learning music. I, I, I love to do it. Before I even start um, all my transcriptions, I spend a good half an hour each day um, just practicing, I, like I said, I've got about 10 exercises that I, I um, play through and they're, they're creative and it's, it's almost like meditation for me now. I've been doing it for so long and it's just, uh, I, I, I just, I love it. It's the way I start my day off and before I even uh, begin to transcribe anything, I, uh, I do uh, these series of exercises. But Okay, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to check out the websites. And we'll see you again next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.